All right, Dana, congrats on the win here at the uh, 2023 uh, TC10K. Thank you. Now, of course, uh, you're not a 10K runner anymore. You're a marathon runner, and of course, you're around the Olympics, and you're running a marathon next week. How do you feel? Yeah, BMO is next weekend, and this was like a good time to sort of test the legs out, get a hard effort in. I had my last big marathon session on Wednesday, so I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel. I didn't know who was actually going to show up to race. Uh, so, like, super happy to break the tape because, especially at this point, I, I'm, like, so grateful when that happens and I definitely don't take it for granted because who knows how many times uh, I'm going to break the tape again. So, yeah, really, really happy to check all of the boxes today, for sure. Well, you can break the tape if you come over to the island a little more often. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I would if uh, we saw orcas on our ferry over uh, yesterday. So I do more of that little whale watching tour. <laughs> so, uh, what are you looking for at BMO? I mean, I, I guess like for BMO, it's not so much about the time because you can't use that as an Olympic qualifying mark just due to the course. Um, but I definitely want to try to break my course record that I set last year, which I think was uh, 234.30, I think. Um, I think I can do that, but again, like it's definitely, I'm going to see how I feel going out, um, see what the weather's like, the conditions, if it's hot, and just sort of make decisions um, based on that. You know, last year I was chasing down Lanny, so I had, you know, a carrot in front of me, and I don't know if that's going to be the same case this year. Um, so, you know, I'm going to try to put myself in a position to go after the course record, that's the hope. Okay, and then you just talked about uh, having your final uh, marathon session just on Wednesday, and off camera you were saying that was 40k. Most people couldn't run today or race today. Uh, you have, so you had a little fatigue in your legs, but you must feel good uh, overall in the sense that you had a chance to tactically, tactically play with your fitness. Yeah. In the past, I've really raced a lot, so I had to like look back on that mindset where you're lining up for a bunch of races and they're back to back and you're clearly not going to be tapered for all of them if you want to race your goal race well. So that was sort of today, it was just like, go out there, think of it as like the last workout of the build or major workout of the build and um, it works out well actually because it, you know I have my last big session. like. 10 days out from the race and then do this and hopefully marathon pace feels maybe that slight bit easier after doing a 10k or maybe not. <laughs> uh, husband Josh is out here today. What was he looking for? Um, so he had a great run at Sun Run and I think he's ho like was hoping to be under 36 minutes today which is like uh, according to him, good for him. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know how he did. Do you, do you know? Well, we'll find out. He had a few more runners to run with to, to draft and what have you. The windy parts. And he doesn't feel the wind quite as much as I do. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. We didn't see you at the around the bay uh, 30k this year. Are you going to go back to that at some point? Ooh, I. I mean, I want to. It's quite the trip when you live out in Vancouver as opposed to driving up to Toronto um, or that area, but it, it's a great prep. I think uh, I think I'd have to make more of a trip of it to, to head all the way over there, but uh, it's a great way to start the season, that's for sure. So, well, nice work here. Good luck at BMO next week. Good to see you back on the island. Thank you so much. It was great to be here. From Vancouver, absolutely flying. That first speedway across the line, 34 and a half minutes. And a lot for Dinah Pogoski. And Eagles Matt Clarkson as well.